Hi, welcome to the course. The agenda for this course on SAP 2FA that is implementing two-factor authentication for the SAP login screen is as follows. First, we'll see what is a 2FA that is two-factor authentication. What are common types of 2FA available? What approach I'm going to take for my project and why? The registration process on the Rapid API because to implement a two-factor authentication, I am going to make use of Google Authenticator and to validate the Google Authenticator, we have to require some API. For that, I am going to make use of Rapid API. After registration, we will do a ton of testing of endpoints in the Rapid API. And then once our basic testing is done on the website as well as in the Postman tool, then we'll start the SAP development that is creating of a single table in SE11 and creating a table maintenance because we're not going to apply to 2FA for all the users. We'll apply to FA for the specific users who is doing some more activity or some like approval activity or based on our requirement. So for the users to whom we want to apply to FA we need to maintain that user with a secret key into table maintenance. After that, we'll learn how to create a function group and function module to consume the web services. And to consume the web services, we need to add some certificate that will see how to add a certificate using S Trust. Then we'll create a program to generate a secret key and for the enrollment. After that, we'll implement a customer exits in the SAP login screen and then we'll do the testing and validation. The big reason for this course is the web programming knowledge, basic knowledge. So once we done with this implementation, the changes on our login screen will be like initially on the first screen, we need to enter our user ID password. If our initial user ID password is okay, the next step we need to check the six digit pin on our mobile application and that six digit pin based on our respect to access key secret key we need to enter in the next screen as a TOTP. If the TOTP is successful then we'll get a message validation successful and system will log in into the SAP. If this TOTP fail the system will give the any message like Google authentication fail or some other message and it will not allow to log in or do any further activity. So learning for the new web consultant in this course will be if, if you are a fresher or a recent learning app, then the learning for you will be like we'll see how to create a table and table maintenance with the T-code, creating of function group and function models, adding certificate, consuming of external web service into SAP FM, creating a program, and also we'll learn how to do the login screen announcement. So this is agenda for the course. See you in the course.